Hello and welcome to the formidable adversary. Skip, 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 skip. skip. I suggest you send a trader to the sector with the two gold mines. With your treasure of coins, he can bribe all the soldiers there and conquer it peacefully. Not a thing that I probably should have. Two gold mines over here. Okay, so right now I've been playing tons of dwarves. I played about 40 minutes of in total according to Steam, but about 222 hours of that strike. Oh. The average kind of striker probably wastes who knows how long. So, dwarves are pretty hard to get some strategy, so I'm gonna keep doing tutorials to get ready for that. Okay, that sounds pretty tough, depending on your point of view. Custom maps and mods for... Custom maps and mods for Settler 7. I do not... No, that's not something. I do not know of any mod, but I do and nor maps. But what you can do is you can have to go to Map Forge and it will customize menu and allow you to like modify like parts of a map. Like I can change this in like locations of gold mines, etc. Mount or within. There's pedo beard. So I'm looking for an alchemist. And there's quote unquote. Here. Oh, it's like someone's planning for a potion gel. Or a glowing poop block. Whatever. So Minecraft map means if you don't know what they are, they're uh, generated. They're like world generators for Minecraft. Probably I don't need to this right now, but I've been experimenting with them for a long time since late summer ish. Kind of had to keep me cool. And uh, there's one called Cities. I've talked about it before. And that's pretty hard and. Uh, 
Did we take it over yet? Titan Squall. Two the ones I've used in the past um, are planet tools, which um, I'll probably put on my server temporarily until bucket in Minecraft are fixed. And well, planet tools—it's it's basically like floating, floating um, spheres all over Minecraft. <laughs> Problem with it's that um, how will it look like in the Never? That'll be strange. Okay. And primordial desert. Basically, it's like an infinite desert. I think. Did we? Um, that's so confusing. randomly throw tons of things at me. Promoted that it's like a giant desert with uh, like weird temples and things like that. It's pretty crazy. And the thing about these weird temples, it has like random traps, like pressure pads set off these infinite holes of death, load of TNT and such. in the middle of the night when your brother will sleep like before came before bed you just hear these random explosions of zombies accidentally setting off the trap those let's get the shit out of you I told you sector is yours. Now you will soon be able to produce coins on your own. Let's 
Let's see. There's the upper gold mine. Oh, there's two of them there. Piggies and deer. And let's see. Mexico, Vietnam. This is a pretty awesome game if you think about it, because from a financial point, financial point of view, it was not the best idea, especially because um, Magic does not have like, the best reviews. It doesn't mean it's not a good game. But I think it's just that experiment of a little experimentation. No, and I thought praise them for taking a big risk of Magic of Vietnam. Congratulations to them. It was a wonderful idea of uh, 1 to 6 now. 1 to 6 a.m. Roads again. And even comes with minecarts included. And finally, let me talk about H.264 versus WMV. WMV has better quality, but it's just not worth the extra 4 gigs and 6 hours of rendering. It's kind of a hard drive, basically. So I switched to, to a high quality H.264. Not as good as WMV, but it still looks pretty awesome. So. For now, I would like to thank you for watching and goodbye.